What's going on everyone? Austin John Plays here and today I'm going to be discussing breeding multiple Pokemon at the same time, breeding multiple Pokemon with multiple Ditto at the same time, speed that eggs are going to be laid, a solution to mass releasing Pokemon, and discussing the idea of a healthy balance of breeding, that way you don't hate absolutely doing it in today's video. <laughs> Since I enjoyed shiny hunting in this game so much, now that we can make it effective, and if you have a second switch or a friend, you get free infinite Herba Mystica for your sparkling sandwiches by having the second person just leave, I shiny hunted every single Pokemon in the game. Between getting invited to a few raids here and there, like for Mousehold, I still want to find one in the wild. Between using the isolating the counter method for Pokemon like Char Cadet, by the way, I definitely have more videos coming out on isolating the counters that are easy to do in this game. I just wanted to finish it all up for myself. Mass outbreaks for Pokemon like Grafii and everything else like that. I finally have all of them that I want for this game. I'm not going to evolve them yet. I'm either going to wait for a home because, you know, if I get two Satoddles, then I'll evolve one, but you know, I kind of like having the first form. It's not officially going in my order, but I'd rather have it in not need it than need it and not have it. Part of that was me getting my Meowskarata that you saw on my breeding video, and I also hatched myself a shiny Skeledurge and Quackaval. So now I have all of them. And one of the methods that I did for this is I would always set up a picnic with all the Pokemon that I wanted to shiny hunt at the same time. For that, it was just Quackaval and Skeledurge with a ditto, which was honestly a really fun thing to do because you're gonna get eggs from both of those Pokemon. And you don't know which egg is which Pokemon and you're just gonna hatch them all at the same time. And I posted all this on Twitter and Twitter had a variety of replies that were basically asking questions like, is it more effective? Which parents did you use? This and that. And I figured that I would make this video telling you guys and then also run all of these tests. So first, I'm going to get a baseline of how many eggs on average I get with a level 2 egg recipe with a Skeledurge and a Ditto. There is a slim chance that I get a shiny Pokemon in this video, and that'd be pretty awesome if I did. Before I even go into this first hatching session, I do want to talk about the fact that there's no mass release in this game. So having a whole bunch of Pokemon in your inventory can be a little cumbersome. And if you're not breeding for abilities and IVs and natures and this and that, and you're just trying to do a shiny hunt, you may not want all of those Pokemon. Or you've done those first six steps and now you're just hatching the same good ones over and over. I have a recommendation for you. Turn off your auto saves and put down a hard save before you do your camp. Get all your eggs, hatch all your eggs, and if you don't get the results you want, just reboot it. Yes, you may want to do this, you know, a few times, have a few boxes of starters if you want to surprise trade those away or something else to be nice, especially on December 25th and 6th. So this is going to be our basis. I'm going to be setting up a 30 minute timer on my stopwatch. Every one minute I'm going to go and collect these eggs and I am going to mark down, oh, apparently I've been doing this for 209 hours. Every one minute I'm going to go and I'm going to collect my eggs and we're going to get an overall consensus on how many eggs you get per minute on average. We're going to run this just like this. Keep in mind this ditto is from a different trainer, so because of that it is an increased egg laying rate. 30 minutes. Okay, well obviously there was a little bit of time walking over and then also when I started my timer and everything else and I have no notices. Okay, test number one was pretty basic. Ditto and Skeledurge. How many eggs were laid every single minute? We could see that there was a total of 56 eggs laid, averaging 1.9 per minute, so on average two. A minimum of zero, a maximum of five, which means that in order to never miss an egg, you need to check it every two minutes. However, on average, you can check it every five minutes. I've done this test before, and my average was just about two as well, using a level two egg dish. What I'm gonna do from here is now hatch all these eggs and see if we get anything great out of them. As always, I'm just going to grab five, throw them underneath Talonflame, and I'm just going to drive up and down this neat little strip right here. Since I plan on resetting if I don't get a shiny anyway, so I'm just gonna go and eat another egg power too 
so my egg hatching is going to be marginally faster as well. Just a little pro tip, in the system settings you can remap specific controllers and when I do this I like to do it with a single Joy-Con and I remapped ZL to equal A because I need L for boxes. So using ZL I could just spam the A button and then using L I could just realign my camera. So my flow for eggs is face toward the camera, tap L, use the boost, and then when I get stopped for the prompt, I'm just gonna use the ZL button for A. That way I just have the other hand free to, I don't know, drink iced coffee. Procalor, si senor. Just to accumulate 600 eggs for Shiny Charm Masuda method, let's round it to 11 camping sessions. So 330 minutes, five and a half hours to just gather 600 eggs that may not have the shiny Pokemon in it. That, that does not include the hatching time, and that does not include the releasing time. It is a long process, and I would not recommend doing it for anything except for the starters. Who knows, star starters might be in the wild in the DLC. <laughs> no surprise, there was no shiny Pokemon. It makes sense because I only had, what, like two boxes? 60 Pokemon, which is, what, a tenth of a one-to-one -one odd? For you to get a shiny Masuda. So now, if you want to keep those Fue Coco, cool, you know, save your game. If not, turn it off, turn it back on, then you don't need to release 60. Because it took me half hour to gather the eggs, more than a half hour to hatch them. Oh, it's it's darker now. And then it would probably take another, let's say at least five, maybe ten minutes to release them or you just restart. And now I'm right back to where I was before I got all those eggs. Now my second test that I would like to do is to take all three starters, put them into my party with one ditto, make sure I have an empty box, let's go get some food, and I don't think I'm gonna do a full 30 minutes. In fact, let's cut that number in half to 15 minutes. 15 minutes. One egg, two eggs, three eggs, nice. When comparing it to my first one, I had a little bit less eggs coming in with an average of 1.73 as opposed to 1.87 with a minimum of one, maximum of five. So maybe just the zero and the five are just uncommon rolls or maybe it's a time-based thing. I don't know exactly how it works, but we are, you know, within that average. But the whole point now is just to kind of express that, hey, this entire box is randomly these three starters, which now I'm gonna hatch all these. I kind of like the idea of just doing 15 minutes of gathering and then you would have maybe 13 or 14 minutes of that boost left and then probably 10 minutes after that. So look at like 15 to 25 to actually get them all done. But when you break them into little pieces like this, it's not nearly as grueling of a hunt and you don't have that long release process. Plus you never know what's gonna hatch which of the three it is. And I think that's pretty fun. So I stopped recording because I was noticing something weird and I went back to go look at who was in my party and I have like five eggs left. Shiny Fuego. That was not expected. Definitely not expected. I'm texting people, I'm putting things in my calendar, I'm watching YouTube videos, all the stuff that you normally do while you're hatching eggs, which I'm not trying to get a shiny from this. I'm just trying to document what actually hatched, but there we go. So obviously I would I would save this one. This is actually my second shiny Fue Coco that I've gotten from this method. I also yelled O oh, and I hit the unpause button, but I never started a recording. Imagine that was shiny too. That then you then you would hate me. If it makes you feel better. I, I I caught over 150 done sparse before I got a three segment, so my luck isn't always good. It's just because I'm recording that my luck is good. That is everyone done and hatched. I had Fue Coco in the first spot, I had Quackaval in the second, and I had Meowscarada in the third. I don't think that affected the ratios. I think it's all just kind of done at random. And the one, uh, the one pink Fue Coco. 
I don't know what it is about, about pink shinies that love me in this game. Since all of them bred with the Ditto, with the Destiny Knot, that means that between the Meowskarada and the Ditto, then out of Meowskarada's six stats and Ditto's six stats, five of them were passed down. Between Quackaval and Ditto, six and six, five of them were passed down to these Quaxly. And between Skeledurge and Ditto, six and six, five were passed down to Fue Coco over here. Because I didn't have a lot of eggs, I hatched that one Fue Coco and then I actually did didn't have any more eggs coincidentally. So if you do this method in small bursts, you can get your shiny out of here, save your game, and then now you're good. Now for the next round, you'd only put two Pokemon in there. Now the tests that I've ran so far involve my Ditto with a Destiny Knot mating with Skeledurge, Ditto with Destiny Knot mating with Quackaval, Ditto with Destiny Knot mating with Meowskarada. All three of my starters are males, and because of that reason, they were not able to mate with each other. I didn't even look at the egg groups. But here's the thing. If I were to put in three Ditto and three of these starters, then if only one of the Ditto is holding a Destiny Knot, that means that only that one Ditto is going to be mating with those Pokemon. So now, in order to get all of these Ditto to breed with all of these starters, they need to either all be holding Destiny Knots or none of them holding Destiny Knots. And honestly, these two don't have that great of stats, so I don't want to pass them down. So I'm going to take Ditto's Destiny Knot away, and that was going to be test number three with three Ditto and three starters to see if maybe we get eggs faster. That's the number one question people want to know. That's the only reason I'm doing these tests and the reason that we needed the baseline to establish before we did the tests. I'm gonna go ahead, put down a save, and oh, I need a foods. Our third and final test is going to be three ditto. All of them are foreign dittos from other trainers. One of them I got through the code. One is my Italian ditto that I caught in my Italian game. And another one is from my Italian version. I joined a six star raid, so he's a five IV ditto. So now it's just a matter of documenting every minute what we get and how many eggs in total. My first minute got me two. My second minute got me a five. Don't know if that's a coincidence. We're going to have to wait and see. 30 minutes. And as our final test comes to a close, when I started doing this test, only planned on doing 15, but the numbers were so positive that I grew suspicious and I decided to do the full 30 minutes. And when I was just looking at the 15 minutes, I ran an average of 2.6 eggs per minute. I was like, that seems really good, like so much better than before. So I went for the full 30 minutes and it did drop down, but not by a lot. It brought me down to 2.37, which is on average, which is on average 0.5 eggs more per minute. Now, it should be noted that I also had a low number of zero and a high number of five, the same minimum and maximum that I had when it was just one ditto and my one Skeledurge. But the simple fact that now I'm seeing a modest improvement on how many eggs per minute. And again, this could be because of a small sample size of 30 minutes, but 30 minutes is how long you're gonna do this for realistically. So for me to do 30 minutes and then another 30 minutes and then another 30 minutes, I would just be doing separate tests and putting all those numbers together. I can't really do more than 30 minutes in one individual test. This seemed the most authentic way that I could produce results. And we don't know the exact numbers or percentages or how often these Pokemon are going to produce an egg, but it would appear as though if I were to have three compatible sets of Pokemon that could breed, I would get better numbers. Ditto could be replaced with a female Pokemon equivalent of the same egg group. The whole idea of this was, if you're gonna shiny hunt and do the Masuda method for three starters or multiple Pokemon at the same time, do it at the same time. It's more fun, it's less monotonous, and if you do them in small groups, you're not gonna have to do a huge mass release at the end. My 15 minutes of a ditto and all three starters got me 26 eggs. If I were to do three Masuda dittos and three starters, that would put me at 39 eggs, about a box and a half, as opposed to the full half hour averaging me at 71, so just over two boxes. Do 15, maybe 20 minutes of collecting eggs and then just 
race back and forth. And if you don't get what you don't want, reset. You don't have to release all the Pokemon. You may want, you know, a box to gift away for a specific event or to help people out on the trade system with the trade codes, things like that. But as it looks right now, make your life a little bit easier. This is what I did. And while there are some people that absolutely totally want this one specific Pokemon and this one specific hunt, there's nothing I'm gonna say that's gonna change your mind. But with shiny Pokemon being as available as they are in this game, doing the Masuda method in order to get all your shinies doesn't seem that worthwhile. In my opinion, do a little bit at a time. Don't take it too stressful. Don't do a consecutive five hour hunt because it's gonna make you not enjoy it. <laughs> if you wanna do that, that's completely up to you. But a healthy balance of hunting a specific Pokemon for a certain amount of hours and then go get distracted, go do something else, it, in my opinion, seems like a much more fulfilling way to play the game. But of course, you can play the game however you want. These are just my observations and recommendations. The whole takeaway from this video is using three Pokemon plus a ditto seems to not get you any faster results. But having three compatible pairs of Pokemon, as in three Masuda dittos and three starter Pokemon, apparently can get you eggs faster. I don't know if getting eggs faster is really your problem or hatching them faster is your problem. Anyways, there you go. Be sure to use a flame body Pokemon. Flame body works in this game, but uh, none, none of the other stuff like synchronize or compound eyes. Those don't work in the field. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. Man, they see me shining. Like I got the charm, stay strapped, got that jet ball in my palm Felt from the sky, guess I'm the chosen one And if you need to know how, check out Austin John Champion flow, flow, yeah I got that champion flow, flow